and for your pelvic movement, you're lying on your back and think about your pelvis lying on a clock. So from where the tailbone is, is 6 o'clock and coming up to where your navel is, is 12 o'clock. So move the pelvis down to 6 and back up to 12. Down to 6, you feel the back arching and coming up to 12, you feel the back flatten. Rocking the pelvis forwards and backwards. And then going from side to side. So again, if you're on that clock, you're going from three o'clock to nine o'clock. Side to side. Rocking the pelvis. You're trying to keep the legs as still as possible. Almost like you're just moving the pelvis around the femurs, around the thigh bone. And then we're going to go all the way around. All the way around the clock. Going around one way, so you feel the pelvis moving, flattening into the, into the mat, arching the back, going around, trying to relax your toes and your shoulders, don't hold your breath, and then you're going to go back the other way, keeping the shoulders soft, so you're looking at a point ahead of you, trying not to look behind you, so the back of the neck stays long as well. And that's it, that's your pelvic movement.